Greetings, my name is Rob Sampson, and I'm here to help you to take a book and turn it into a practical method for learning the language of Pushtu. The book that we're talking about is called, this is this one, Speaking Pakistani Pukhto, and it's based on the language of Pushtu that's spoken in northern Pakistan. It's the main standard dialect in Pakistan. As you may know, there are about something in the range of 50 million Pashtuns worldwide, many dialects. Uh, this particular dialect, sometimes called the Yusuf Zay dialect, is the, the key and most useful dialect for all of Pakistan, and it's widely understood throughout Afghanistan as well. You may not understand the dialects of other speakers of Pashtu, but they will understand you very well. So it's a wonderful choice uh, for learning. And as we think about the purpose of this course that I'm helping to generate for you, I think the first really big question is, why do you want to learn Pashtu? I mean, there's a crazy idea. Um, and if you don't have a good answer for that, the why, then your motivation will probably dwindle as the course continues. So think hard and long about the motivation. For me, my motivation was very simple. I'd been offered a wonderful job teaching in uh, Edwards College in 1989 in Peshawar. The first day of class, I asked all my students, as I normally did, you know, where they're from, their background. I also included almost accidentally the question of what's their, the language they learned as a child, what was their first language. 99% said they spoke Pushtu. Now for a teacher not to be able to understand what the students are saying amongst themselves is a little problematic. So right away I decided, okay, this is the language to learn, not Urdu, because most of them, their mother tongue was Pushtu. So whatever your motivation is, think hard about it. Why do you want to learn this great language? The language itself might be motivation for some. It's a fantastic language. It's the language of poetry. It's got f rich, it's rich in proverbs. And uh, the more I've come to study Pushtu and learn Pushtu, the more I've grown to love this magnificent language. So maybe that's motivation itself. But think hard about your motivation. If your motivation is simply to learn a few phrases of Pushtu to Im impress your friends, that's not going to carry over the time that's taken. So first question is why. Second is how on earth are you going to take a book uh, and make it practical? This is not a grammar book. This is a practical book that certain tools and methods that you can help any Pashtun to help you to learn uh, could turn this into a very, very useful book. So my purpose is to help you with the how. The book's there. It's not a perfect book, it's got some errors and things, but that's okay, it's good enough. Uh, in 1989, when I decided to study and learn Pashtu, I couldn't find anything very useful. There were a bunch of old British textbooks left over from a hundred years past with such useful phrases as, bring me my horse and if you don't send the outlaw right now, we're going to burn your village down in Pushtu. Not, not very helpful. <laughs> Around the time I was looking, there was an excellent Afghan Pushtu book written by Andy Olson. And so the basis of this book is actually working from that book and trying to translate it and work it into natural, normal Pakistani Pushtu. Pakistani Pushtu is a mixture. It's, the, it's an Afghan language that now has quite a mixture of Urdu, English and other phrases in. That's the way it's spoken and that's the way that good communicators need to speak as well. So what is this course? This course is built for students who want some tools and there's a lot of fantastic electronic tools available as well as some standard old methods that you may or may not know and I'm looking forward to sharing those with you. It's also a course that's good for potential teachers of Pushtu who may not have uh, thought through some of the ways that outsiders, that foreigners may need uh, to learn Pushtu well. 
This is not a book about just reading and writing. This is a book about speaking. The emphasis is on spoken Porto. And uh, it's rich in audio files and visuals and other methods that are really going to help you. So this is the purpose of the course. It's going to be broken down to lots of small components, uh, methods. There'll be some quizzes, reviews, and I'll develop as we go. And I hope my prayer is that it's going to be as much fun for you to learn as I myself have had the great enjoyment of learning this fantastic language. And the purpose for me has always been relationships. When you talk to people eye to eye, face to face, a lot of the misconceptions and misunderstandings between different peoples vanishes. And speaking together is rather like sharing a sweet dish. See you for the next part of this course.